here are two different methods that you can use with dictionaries that can really help simplify your life. To get started, let's create a dictionary. So here we'll have, let's say, some people of type dictionary, and that's going to equal, let's say, uh, Mario, who will be user one, and Luigi, who will be user two. Right now, if you want to access a value from this dictionary, you're going to have to refer to the key. And this is basic Python 101. So we can print, for example, the people at the index of Mario. And when you run that, you're going to get one as an output to the console. So that's pretty normal. We all understand how dictionaries work. And of course, if you type in a key that does not exist, Python's going to give you a key error because there's no key called ASD. So there are two methods you absolutely should know about if you want to grab elements from a dictionary. And one is .get and the other one is .set default. Let's start with .get. If you call .get, you can choose to specify a key such as Mario, and you can also choose to specify a default value. So in case Mario doesn't exist, we're going to return zero, for example. Now, if we run this, we're going to get one as usual. Mario is one, Mario exists. But this time, if we type in ASD, a key which does not exist, we're going to get the default value back, which is zero in this case. And if you do not specify a default value, it's going to return none by default. So in case you want to grab an element without throwing an error, you can use .get. And then you can perform whatever kind of operation you want and combine that with some if statements. So .get is great, but what about set default? How does this differ from .get? Because right now, if we type in set default and we say we want Mario, otherwise zero, we're going to get a similar result. For example, right now, if we try to get Mario, it's going to return to us one. If we try to return ASD, we're going to get zero back. So what is the difference between set default and dot get? Well, let me show you one thing. So here we're going to put get and we're going to return zero and then we will print the people and then we will print the people after set default. So print people. Now, if we run this, you'll notice that the first time we run it with .get, it won't find ASD, so it's going to default to zero and it's going to return to us zero. And the dictionary is going to remain unchanged. But for the second example, using set default, we still try to access ASD, which does not exist. So what we do is set a default value for this key, which means now we have Mario, Luigi and ASD with the default value of zero. So set default is going to create that key and set that default value for that key if it does not exist. It's actually adding to the dictionary. So both of these are pretty powerful dictionary methods, which I absolutely recommend you look into because they can really simplify your life when working in Python. But anyways, do let me know what you think about these methods, whether you use them in your code or not, or if you have other methods that you really enjoy using. I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.